Alrighty guys, not to say this uh, trip was kind of half planned or spontaneously put together, but it was not the original destination for tonight. Welcome back guys here to another video on Live Urban Outdoors. We are currently standing at the bottom of the boat ramp here at Deer Creek Reservoir. Like I said, not the original destination. I went and tried uh, two other lakes before this, but ice conditions just were not adding up out there. So uh, here we are. 40 minutes left in the day. Maybe I can pick up a few trout and get lucky. Deer Creek has always been kind of a struggle for me. Open water and frozen water. I mean, I've only ever ice fished this once and didn't catch crap. So we're gonna see if we can redeem ourselves today. Deer Creek doesn't get a, get frozen like this as often either. It's currently mid-January out here of uh, 2023. But might pick up some trout, might pick up some perch, crappie. I honestly don't care what bites. Maybe I'll find some walleye if I'm lucky, but I'm just gonna get out here, pop some holes, and just try to run a gun, try to find ourselves some fish. Whoa. Edges are soft as they come. I've got waterproof boots, so that's okay. And my gear's on the lake. Cool. This looks to be about as good a spot as any. It's not the thickest ice, but it's thick enough. One thing I'll admit that's really nice right now which I'm kind of shocked by. No slush whatsoever. That's something I've been fighting ever we've been going this season. So this is kind of actually really nice right now. Let's get my the live sonar up and going here. Oh, and there's something suspended. Cool, we're already marking fish. Let's get a jig down there and uh, see if we can play with whatever these fish are. Um, let's get a bucket. AKA rod holder, redneck rod holder. Ooh, there was another one down there. I'm gonna start things off with this little gold Swedish pimple I tied on last time I was crappie fishing. Grab a little puck of mealworms here and rip them in half. And I'm just gonna tip this treble hook on this Swedish pimple with this mealworm here. Boom, that looks a little tasty, don't it? Hopefully the fish think so. If you guys want an actual ice thickness, I'll give it to you. So we've got about three and a half inches of solid clear ice. And on top of that, got about another three inches of cloudy stuff. There's a fish hugging the bottom. Um, either that's a school of fish or that is a monster of something right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's just gotta be school of trout, right? Look at all moving from the left. Oh no, it's a school of perch. That's got. That's what that got him. Got one of them. Okay, that might be a trout actually. There's a bunch of them that just moved through right there. Oh, it's a trout. Yeah, wow. What a healthy bow. There were so many grouped up there. There, I thought that they were maybe a big school of perch, but no, it's just a big school of rainbows. Wow. It's my first ever rainbow. Well, fit fish through the ice out of here. Check it out, guys. Healthy rainbow trout out of here, Deer Creek on that Swedish pimple. All right, guys, I actually I really want to release this guy, but I actually told myself I was willing to keep some trout today if I caught any. So this is going to be a good little eater. These trout in here have got good feed, so they're usually got really good meat. So I'm going to go ahead and just bonk this guy here. I was going to put him back, but I don't know how many more of these I'm going to be able to catch with how much daylight we got. All right, now we got him knocked out, so he's not going to fill this. Brand new knife. We're just going to go ahead and uh, cut his gills here so we can bleed him out. Hopefully you guys were able to see that fish finder okay when I caught that fish. There were two schools total of fish. And that school that he was with, it just looked like one big giant fish at first. And they start peeling off. There's probably 10 fish in that school. Alright, hurry baited back up. I already caught us one trout. Let's get it back there and go for another. Alrighty. Now, I'm not being interrupted. I can finish tying on this jig head on my other rod here. I'm not complaining though. I'm okay with getting interrupted uh, tying on a new jig because I'm catching a fish on another rod still. What I'm going to throw on is going to probably rock these fish's world because it's going to be an awesome lure. 
Here's our next little secret weapons going down. Got a Sierra Slammer jig head. We're taking one of my favorite colors in the Sierra Slammer mini jigs. This is called uh, Hitch. It's kind of half pearl, half brownish tan. I've always fished these pre-rigged, but I got a little pack of these here uh, without hooks in them so we can throw that ball head on there with that chartreuse on it and just give it a little extra pop down there. Get the uh, Catch the eye of these fish. But I'll tell you what guys, if that doesn't look like trout candy, I don't know what does. I think it's gonna hammer him. Send that bad boy puppy on down there. There's some fish coming in from the right. Ooh, something going up to this, something going up to this. Oh, I got fish on both these. Got one on that, no, he popped off, shoot. Shoot, dog. Okay, well, I just lost one on, oh, he snapped off. Got one on this one though. How's that school? No, I lost that one too, shoot, shoot. Oh no, he's still there, he was just coming up with it. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That's a little one. No wonder I <laughs> thought I lost him. Little guy on that Sierra Slammer there. We're going to throw this one back, but dude, that's only been down there for like 30 seconds. Already got a fish on it. Trout candy, baby. See you, buddy. Ooh, fish coming on the left. I'm going to get down there just in time. See him? There's a school of them right there hugging the bottom. Come on, get down there. Get down there. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Shooting up to it. Oh, I'm so going to get a fish on this jig. Oh, he nibbled, nipped it, nipped it, nipped it. These fish don't even know him. Dude, they are, they can't, they, oh my gosh, missed him. Just get it right back in his face, right back there. Oh, here comes a different one. Oh, I got it. No, my gosh, what am I doing right now? The jig is working, I'm just not. All right, let's retry this, guys, okay? They probably took my bait by now, but I was gonna say, they like this enough, I bet I'll still catch them. Go, oh, another little guy, maybe that's why I'm missing them. Just a school of little guys. Thank you, buddy. Those fish are all over these little mini tube jigs. All over them. That's a real bummer to have lost that uh, jigging spoon. It snapped at my knot there. Now I just have an opportunity to tie something else on, I guess. Just to have another rod down there doing something for us. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop down this little tungsten jig. Got this guy from Do Life Outdoors, local here in Utah. They've uh, proved themselves for crappie. Let's see if they can prove themselves for some trout too. Send that little tungsten puppy on down there. ka -chink. And that's gonna be a fish catcher. You watch. I'm gonna actually get a chair. Make myself a little comfortable. Ooh, fish up suspended. Say what, now we're talking sitting down, comfortable. Heck yeah. Now, debating. Got some more Sierra Slammers here. It's one of his new colors. This is called New Shad. This is actually one of my most absolute favorite looking colors. I'm yet to throw it in the water, but I already know it's gonna be money. Or I've got this bright color here is orange and yellow. These are, this color's called Big Stick. I haven't fished these. Ooh, hold on, there's something up shallow. Oh, ooh, something coming to this one. So I'm gonna get a fish. Oh, no, he shot away. Oh, he's going, he's going to that little tungsten though. Oh, he's come back up to the Sierra Slammer. Got him. Look at that. He chose the Sierra Slammer over the tungsten. Dude, rainbows. I'm telling you guys, these trout just cannot get enough of those Sierra Slammers. Let's go ahead and unhook him and get him back really quick. That's my fourth fish, right? I think so. See you, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at whatever those are up suspended. Oh, come on, whatever you are. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what's been swimming up suspended. Some absolute minnows, dude. Fifth fish is a minnow. I don't have a single line in the water right now. But hey, on that Do Life Outdoors tungsten. Not bad for a kind of a not even planned trip out here. See you, buddy. All right, I need to get this down here really quick so I can catch me some more fish. But if you guys are interested in these Sierra Slammer tube jigs, be sure to go ahead and I'll have them linked down in my description below along with the discount code that you can use at checkout. Get your save yourself some money on some fish catching lures proven fish catching lures i'm marking more fish down there and also while you guys are at it if you want to go help support a local father and son business local here to utah uh they've got more than just these little tungsten jigs but these are they offer these for a little bit more affordable pricing you can get at your big local retailers if you guys are big pan fishermen or do a lot of finesse fishing these guys are great I'll have them linked down in the description as well, along with a discount code 
that you guys can use uh, to save yourself some money with these guys as well. Oh shoot, something just bit this. Tungsten. I reeled up my sear slammer for the suspended fish. There's some trout in the bottom down there playing with my tungsten. Oh shoot, I got one suspended here too. Jeez, oh that's a better bow. Okay buddy, chill. Oh my gosh, he, he freaking wanted that CR Slammer. I've already got one good size one. This guy, if he was a little bit bigger, I'd keep him, but we're gonna let this one go. Yeah, probably 15, 16 inch fish. We'll give him 15. See you, buddy. Alrighty, y'all. You know what, let's step up here into the headlights. Hopefully you can see me a little better. I'm definitely got to come back out here and make another video or two for you guys. It's not that often that we get safe ice out here at Deer Creek, and I was pleasantly surprised it's a nice outing. Seven fish in 45 minutes. I also want to get off the water a decent time, so I uh, have time to go cook up that fish tonight for dinner. Without further ado, guys, thanks for watching this video so much once again. And if you guys enjoy watching these videos and want to help support the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and uh, check out those links down in the description below. Help support the brands that help support me. Helps out a lot. Really appreciate it, you guys. If you guys enjoyed watching and you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and drop a like if you guys haven't already. That way, you guys can stay tuned for the next episode of Lip Ripping Outdoors here. And as always, guys, until next time, tight lines, and I'll catch you later.